Hey, Jacoby, welcome to Philadelphia. Thanks for taking the time. We'll get okay, started here with Ed Kratz and then Mike Kay. All right. Hi, hey, Jacoby. I uh, just want to ask you, um, could you give us two or three goals that you hope to achieve uh, this week coming out of uh, this rookie camp? Yeah, um, this you know, making a great first impression, that's one. Um, you know, this is going to be really the first time I can get in front of, you know, all the coaches. You know, you know, they send scouts out for the pro days and stuff like that. But to be the first time where the coaches really see me move in person. Um, so, I, you know, just want to uh, give a good impression and uh, show that I can move around and, and that uh, that I'm basically what I showed the scouts, you know, for the scouts that, you know, stuck up for me, you know, you know, hopefully give them a, um, you know, a pat on the back, you know, so they, you know, so they, you know, they can say they did their job right. Um, you know, and it's an, and another thing is just just getting acclimated with, you know, the uh, operations facility, the people that work inside of it, and uh, just eventually getting kind of acclimated with the city. Um, so you know, hopefully this will become a, a home for many years to come. So you know, I want to make my make sure that I'm comfortable with uh, where I'm going to be around around uh, the most. Go ahead, Mike, and then Jimmy Kemsky. Hey, Jacoby, I uh, wanted to take you outside of football for a second, but I, I read that you led a, um, a voting initiative at LSU to kind of get everybody um, squared away in voting. What went into that initiative? What gave you the drive to do that? And um, overall, how did it, it turn out uh, to your expectations? Yeah, um, you know, doing, you know, trying to get all my guys registered to vote was just really uh, something that, you know, I saw um, – with what was kind of just going on and stuff like that. And, and I just wanted to show the guys that, you know, you can, you know, you can do the uh, different protests and stuff like that, but, you know, this is how you really have your voice heard. This is what is put in uh, into law. This is what actual people use, uh, you know, for you to actually uh, get things done. Um, you know, and, and my biggest thing was just to inform those guys that they have that type of power. Um, you, you know, I wasn't trying to go in with trying to push an, uh, push an agenda or telling the guys who to vote for. So, you know, I, I don't even know how many guys actually went in uh, and actually uh, cast their vote in. But um, I just knew that I wanted to get the guys registered to vote. I think that's um, that was one step uh, in the right direction. I mean, you'd be surprised of all the college students that are uh, able to vote that aren't registered, you know. Um, so being able to do that and just kind of giving those guys information and um, opportunity and giving those guys those type of opportunities, um, I, I thought that it would, would, would be a good idea and it would look good for um, us as not uh, not only as a football team but just a school to uh, start pushing that initiative. Go ahead, Jimmy, and then Paul Domowicz. Uh, hey, Jacoby. Uh, Benny Logan played here, and he wore the, the 18 jersey at LSU, so we know a little bit about that. But can you tell us the significance of the number seven jersey uh, that you wore at LSU? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, I kind of uh, smile when you uh, mentioned Benny Logan. You know, he was one of the, he was one of the coaches uh, last year at LSU, and uh, man, I, you know, I, you know, he he he's still very fond of Philly, and uh, you know, he you know he's told me about it and and the things that he liked to do, you know, in the city on his pastime, but. Um, you know, just like 18, the number he wore seven is just uh is just a big of a number. I mean, just uh yes last night, uh Derek Stingley got announced uh, that he was gonna wear number seven, and um, you know, it's, it's a big deal, especially there at LSU. I mean, the likes of Patrick Peterson, Grant Delpit, uh, DJ Charks, uh, Leonard Fournette, Tyron Matthews, those are the guys that wear seven at LSU. Um, and for me, it was being able to wear uh my idol's uh number at his school, and that was Patrick Peterson. Uh, you know, he wore that at LSU, and um, the coach o gave me the opportunity to, to wear. It. You know, I jumped at it, and um, you know, and and I, you know, it was it was a good experience, and you know, I was uh, able to fulfill the childhood dream. Go ahead, Paul, and then John McMullen. Yeah, Jacoby, uh, what was last year like coming off a national championship? Uh, I mean, was there a letdown? You lost. You know, there were a lot of guys that you played with that graduated. Um, I mean, what was the year like for you and, and for your teammates? Right. I mean, um, you know, I, you know, I, I wouldn't be here telling the truth if I said that, we, you know, I was uh, happy with how the season went. No one goes into a season wanting to go five and five. 
uh, or, you know, just getting 500. So coming off a national championship year and, and going five and five, you know, there was definitely some growing pains. Um, I, I, but I also think, you know, coming from that and reflecting back on that year, I was able to uh, grow and I was able to grow as a, a leader. I was able to go to, as a player and a person. Um, you know, it just, you know, I was able to, to learn from the lessons that that short year uh, taught me. And, um, you know, I, I think I'm a better person and leader uh, from that. Go ahead, John, and then Zach Berman. Hey, Jacoby. You just mentioned uh, Patrick. He's wearing number seven this year because of the the jersey changes. You, you mentioned he was your idol. Curious how how much interaction you've had with him over the years. Uh, my, you know, I, you know, he, he was, you know, he was in all the way in Arizona. I mean, the little uh, interaction I had with him was actually coming from my junior year after we played uh, Florida uh, at home, and um, I had a pretty good game. Um, you know, I covered Kyle Pitts some and had some couple of tackles on the running backs and whatnot. And uh, after the game, uh, you know, he came up to me. He said I had a good game, and you know, you know, it maybe was a small exchange for him, but for me, that was such a big deal, you know, like literally as soon as he, you know, walked off or uh, I think he drove off after he said that, uh, you know, I automatically just got on my phone and was like, Dad, you don't believe, you won't believe who just talked to me. And I really was just fanboying after he just told me a good game. So it was a pretty cool experience. And, I, you know, I, uh, that's an experience I'm going to cherish uh, for, for a very long time. Go ahead, Zach, and then Chris Murray. Hey, Jacoby, because everything was uh, virtual during – this process, this is the first time you're really here in, in Philly with these coaches, with these teammates. What was your first impression of Philly, of the facility, and of the people in the building? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm very impressed. Um, like I said, you know, really and truly, like, descending from the airplane today and kind of looking over the city, you know, I, I flew over the uh, the stadium and the arena and, the, you know, the, where the Phillies play. And I, all I could think was, you know, this is a sports team. Um, this is, I mean, this is a sports city. And I'm just excited to be here. Um, you know, one thing about, you know, being up here, there's also a lot of history. So you can really kind of, you know, when, when I have, you know, off, you know, off days, I can get lost in the city. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just excited to, uh, for this new adventure uh, on and off the field and, you know, uh, inside the city, uh, inside the city as well. So I'm really excited to to keep learning uh, the people that make uh, you know that 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 uh, makes this show go on and, and uh, helps it run smoothly. Um, and I'm also uh, excited to uh, learn a new city. We'll wrap it up here with Chris and then Jamie. Okay. Uh, first of all, Jacob, welcome to Philadelphia. Um, my question to you, what strength do you bring as a linebacker in terms of your, your on-field play? And what did you do? What do you think you did well at LSU that you're going to bring into the National Football League? Yeah, I mean, um, I know that's one of the things people are questioning because, you know, um, I'm playing linebacker here, uh, you know, for the Eagles and I play safety at LSU. And that's one thing that I say is that I basically did that. At L I played linebacker at LSU as well. I mean, it's just a position title. Um, so the things that you, you know, if you go back and watch my film at LSU, those are the same things that I'm going to do, uh, try to do here, uh, for the, uh, Eagles. I mean, I'm, a, I'm always going to be a smart player. I'm going to be a player that's going to, uh, play with, with a, a lot of passion, a player, a player that's going to play fast. Um, and that's, and that's going to, a player that's going to, uh, be very explosive on the field. Um, I think that, uh, you know, my game translates regardless of what position or, and, or what level. And um, I'm, just, I'm just really excited to be here and show uh, those coaches that and prove, uh, you know, the scouts that defended me to, to draft me here are right. So um, I'm just excited for that for this opportunity. And that's the only, really and truly, that's the only thing you really ask for. Go ahead, Jamie. Jacoby, uh, welcome to Philadelphia. I just want to know this story about the bet with your grandma. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, so basically, I, you know, I was at my, you know, we call her Big Mama. So um, I was at my Big Mama's house for like the summer. Uh, I want to say I was like five or six years old. And um, I, I, I want to say I was maybe sitting there like playing around or something like that. And, you know, I was, we were talking and I said that, uh, you know, I was going to play in the NFL. Um, and, you know, I'm five, six years old. My big mama was like, you know, no, you're not. You know, and she, you know, she said that not saying that I wasn't, you know, uh, not thinking I could actually do it. But, you know, as a five, six year old, you know, 
you want to be president or you you know you want to be a neurosurgeon you know things just change uh how the you know you know things just change just you know then from the next day to the next and uh so she just said you know that um I wouldn't and she said you know what if you become a a, a football player or NFL football player I'll get the uh team's logo on my shoulder on my arm and uh well now she now it's you know for a time for her to get an ego on her arm but um you know she claims that she's still going to get it we're going back and forth I'm telling her that she does not have to get a tattoo you know I don't want my big mama to Go get a tattoo on her arm, but she claims she's still gonna do it, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jacob. Are you gonna? Are you? I'm sorry. Are you gonna go with her to get that tattoo? Are you gonna go with her to get that tattoo? I mean, if if I have time, you know, I hope she doesn't get it. Um, if she gets it, I'll, I'll definitely post it and share it with everybody. <laughs> okay, thanks, Kobe. Thanks, everybody. All right, thank you.